such a weird weather we're having. It was already warm for the past few days. We were getting over 30 degrees Celsius. But today, it's less than 20. I think it's only about 15. Hello and welcome to Let's Plant Recap. This is the show where I look at your comments from the last episode and react to them. We're looking at episode 92 titled, Here's what I got from the annual Cactus and Succulent Society of Australia plant sale. So basically, it's a succulent haul video. I'm going to start with a pinned comment, which is mine. And I said here that I will be using the premiere announcement feature for my Let's Plant series from now on. Please let me know what you think of this time slot or let me know what works for you. Please indicate your location as well. Thanks. So if you've seen it or if you haven't seen it, I've been using, I started using the premiere feature on YouTube. And what that does is it allows me to create an announcement in advance, which also shows a countdown when the next episode is going to start. And because of that countdown, you would know exactly when, the date and the time the episode is going to air. And the other thing that the premiere provides is that for the first run or the first view of the video, it's going to be as live, meaning that we're all going to watch it at the same time. You can skip forward, skip backward. You can skip forward or move backwards. You'll have to watch the entire video first. And once the first run is done, it turns into a regular on-demand video, like the usual videos in the past. But what's so great about it? Well, the thing is, during that first run, everyone is going to be watching the video at the same pace, at the same time, and there's going to be there and there is a live chat, which means that we could all interact with each other while we're watching the video. And being able to talk with fellow succulent enthusiasts is so fun. I've joined the last chat and we have lots of fun. And I'd really like to thank those who have joined in the first premiere. You made it so fun for me. So the next premiere is going to be a, a slightly, well not slight, it's going to be longer than my previous video because the next video is going to be about the actual succulent show and I've chopped it into parts because I don't think it would be nice to do a premiere that's over an hour long. So I'm going to premiere only the first part and the, the other parts will be uploaded immediately after the first video or at least uh, the premiere is going to run from 12 p.m. my time and the other parts would be published at around 12.15 or so. The first video is about 25 minutes which means that by the time you finish the first video all of the other parts are already there. So yeah, I think this is a good compromise. Now on to the comments. First comment is from Aneta S. Yes, reminder is always a good idea. I'm glad you agree that having this announcement countdown is good. I've been looking around seeing what other creators, what other YouTubers think about the feature. It's a mixed reaction. Some of them absolutely love it, others not so much. I guess it depends on how many people are online around the time that you do your premiere. So right now I'm doing it at 12pm my time, which means that it would be of course noon time in Australia, evening in the United States, and in the morning for the Philippines. So those three are my main audience right now based on the analytics on my channel. So being able to target all three with decent time slots is good. But if that time zone, that time slot does not work for you, then please let me know down in the comments and I'll see what I can do. From Giovanna John Baptiste, what a nice collection. Thank you. From Helen Lane, why are succulents so beautiful? Smiley face. I don't know. <laughs> Why is the sky blue? In my case, it's white. It's gloomy today. <laughs> From Nana Superhero. Wow, beautiful. Very good video. <laughs> From Zany Zana 66 Hey Chuck, I love Kante's too. Mine has grown so well this year. How much were the Dark Vader and Fountain? I bought them when they were first promoted by Succulents Australia and they threw in a snow bunny as well. My Dark Vader now has two pups. Do you think it would be better for them to stay together in the club or separate out? Thanks for sharing your advice with us. So I've responded. I've already responded to this in the comments. And here's what I basically said. Uh, at the show, I found the Dark Vader selling for 35 and the Fantastic Fountain was going for 47.50. As for her question about the pups, I would leave them as long for as long as I can because they would still be growing a lot faster uh, if they're still connected to the already established stem especially now that it's growing season so you wouldn't want to waste that 
But then again, it's growing season for them. So if you separate them now, they would be able to grow on their own. So if you intend to separate them, I guess now is an okay time to do it. Just as long as you do not do it during winter, you know? To which she replied, thanks for the help. There's, there is one pot that has started developing its own roots, so I will repot it when they grow a bit longer. A bit longer. There's no worries with them fitting in their pot yet. So, yeah, I think you've answered your own question now. Uh, yeah, give it, give it a bit of time. Let it just grow a bit bigger, then separate it if you want. From Karen Lothring, man, you had to go and buy new things. Now I got to update my Echeveria wishlist. <laughs> Thanks for the info as well. I have to check next time which of the ones I have to buy sensitive stems. It's good to know that. So yeah, uh, it's a good idea to separate the sensitive ones from those that aren't. And a good indicator for that is the current state of the stem as I mentioned in the video. So, so for those who haven't seen it yet, I playfully call it the Seriska Page 2 pile sorting method. But it's basically, uh, it's basically a method where you classify the plants according to the maturity of the stem. and treat them accordingly. From the Dub Rose 1. Love the newbies Chuck. Great video. I was hoping to see a moonstone which are very hard to get here. Keep up the hard work and looking forward to the next video. Yeah, I saw a few there. I was considering picking up one but they were quite expensive for my taste so I didn't push through. <laughs> from Shiawase. Nice haul from the show. I got a Pinwheel Revolution 2. I was trying to decide between that and a Swan Lake. Pinwheel wins. <laughs> And your hime is so beautiful. I have a bit of cactus fever at the moment, so spent most of my budget at Attila's booth. He's my hero. You should visit Attila Kapitani Garden if you haven't been. It's truly succulent maniac heaven. Yeah, I was I was hoping to be able to go to the open garden last year, but you know, uh, some clash in my schedules. Maybe next time. I hope. He usually opens in the spring, right? I'm not sure if. I might have already missed it. <laughs> oh well, uh, I'll just keep a lookout for the next one, I guess. From Medofreno Cro. I'm not sure if I'm saying your name correct. Wow, so beautiful. Thank you. From Erika Succulents. Great haul, Chuck. This year was my first time going to the show. It was well worth the public transport and the 20 kilometers walk combined over Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> I came back minus $300 but I gained, gained 17 gorgeous succulents and I got to cross off many of my wish list. Hmm. Here's what I returned with. Instagram link. There's a cubic frost in there, a white champagne, Mexican giant and a purposorum just to name a few. Hmm. Look forward to seeing your new additions in future videos. Can't wait to see what you do with them. I've had a look at her Instagram account, followed the link and wow, quite a haul there. And in my reply to her comment, I was asking her what days she went because I don't think I saw, I don't think we saw each other there. She said that she went both days. I also went both days, but on the second day, I was mainly just staying inside the exhi exhibition floor, exhibition room. So I was doing a lot of video, a lot of filming. So I guess, I guess I might have missed a lot of people during the second day. From Isa Zidlowska. Love, love, love the fantastic fountain. Great haul. I love the plant show sales. We definitely don't have the selection of your bunnies. Yes. And oh, by the way, you should do a plant tour of your mother-in-law's cacti at some point. You know, like a guest feature. I, it's, I'm sure others are curious about the other plant person in the house. Isa, this is definitely a good idea. My mom-in-law might not be game enough to show her face, but I think she wouldn't mind me showing off the cactus in her collection, so I might work on it someday. Or really soon. We'll see. And more from Isa. Love the Raiga and Bambino too. And the Blue Moon. And can't wait to see the succulent show. I've got the first episode already scheduled. The others I'm still working on. And hopefully I'll be finished. I'll finish editing them during the weekend. Today. Today is Sunday already. I am forecasting that there would be four parts and they would be about 25 to 30 minutes long each. I'm already done with the first two parts. I'm working on the third part. I'm halfway through the third and hopefully be done with the fourth by tonight or tomorrow. So we'll see. From Blissful Box, Chuck, love your new plants. Beautiful. Thanks for sharing about the stems as well, being young and sensitive or not. Never thought about it. Something to look for out. 
something to look out for in the next buy. Keep it up and love your channel. I'm glad you found it helpful. It's a mistake that all of us do. We're, we're so excited with our new plants that we don't really inspect it so much. Well, some people do, but many people don't. So yeah, it's great to be reminded that we need to look really closely at the stem before we do anything else with it. So yeah, C2 PSM <laughs> from Margie McPeak. That's some serious Echeveria collecting. Bravo, Chuck. Thanks for sharing your new acquisitions. I'm so impressed by them that I can pick a favorite. I've never heard anyone refer to the different maturities of their plants as piles. Chuck the Entertainer strikes again. <laughs> My so-called plan had originally been to watch your vids from the lowest number forward, but then a picture of something in the title catches my eye. Because I'm a weakling, I just have to watch. Whether it's the next video numerically or not, yes, I'm officially addicted to your channel. How did this happen? <laughs> well, thank you for binging on my videos. I'm glad you enjoyed them. I think there might be some subliminal messaging in there somewhere. <laughs> ah. From Succulent Fame, I love the hybrids. They all look like topsy-turvy with some twists. Yeah, I think it's nice being able to collect a few hybrids of the same plant, you know, and do a comparison video on them. So I think that was my reasoning why I got this plant. Because I'd like to do a video someday showing what the base, for instance, for the Topsy Turvy. I want to show what the base Topsy Turvy looks like and how the other hybrids compare with it. That's an idea for my future comparison videos. From Crafty Fox, haha, we almost got the same plants. I must have the I must have very similar taste. <laughs> I'm lucky you must have missed uh, Kante or they, they were really hiding them. I was super excited to find one and now I'm on the hunt for Echeveria Hime so I love watching anime and a bit of a princess myself. <laughs> Great video. Yeah, about the Kante, I, I saw them restocking after I got the three that I bought from them so I think they had lots of stock. They were just releasing them slowly which is a good strategy because I guess if people see that there's not enough of the plant or just there's just a few pieces of the plant on display then they might it might appeal to their sense of emergency or sense of alert and they would pick it before someone else does it happened to me last year as well because I found an, uh, a morning light just one on display so I grabbed it and about an hour later when I did my final sweep before we left before we left the show I saw another morning light from the same vendor they placed a new one and the second one looked a bit better than the one I bought but oh well I bought it already so <laughs> and that's it for the YouTube comments let's have a look at Facebook so there's not much comments on Facebook but there's some at least first one is from Chavala Ramu during propagation how often do I have to water them I have a standard response to questions like this I think I should make a video about it at some point but anyway my stance on this is always that I do not water my leaf propagations or any propagations if they do not have roots yet so wait for them to grow roots and that's when you start watering them also the question here was how often so in that case it depends a lot on your current climate or your current weather situation the best normally for uh, established plants I would say that you would have to wait until the soil is completely dry before watering again giving it a very deep soak but in case of younger plants or pro newly propagated plants they would require a bit more water so what you could do is to uh, water a bit more often compared to the mature plants yeah that's basically it and a follow-up question from Chavala Ramu again I saw in one of your, your videos you sowed some seeds and watered them from bottom and covered up with the dome how often do you water them so a very similar question and I gave a very similar answer I usually check every couple of days to see if the top is dry then missed when I then I missed when needed I try not to make it too wet but I try to keep it humid because seeds uh, seedlings need a lot of uh, moisture not necessarily direct water they do not need to be flooded but they need moisture otherwise it dead dry out quickly they're so fragile that way also on the seeds just be careful not to spray too close so that you then do not end up disturbing the seeds since the spray pushes air out as well what you want to do is to spray from distance like this and let the mist droplets land on the seeds and the soil so that's how I normally do it 
finally from Megan Sant. Great video. Love watching all of the videos and thanks to your beautiful family for babysitting my plans at the show. <laughs> yeah, we bumped into each other in the show and she and a, and a mutual friend. And like me and my mom-in-law, they also bought lots of plants and they needed uh, a place. They needed to go back a few rounds. So what they did was they asked my wife, because my wife was minding the kids. They were sitting in a spot outside of the display and in the sales rooms. And Megan left her plants with them for a while while she had another go at the sales floor. So essentially my wife was babysitting some children and some plants. They are all babies. And that's it for the recap and the next video as you already know since I placed up the put up the premiere announcement rather early. It's an episode about the succulent competition, so the plant exhibit. Here's a preview. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow my page so you do not miss out on the future episodes. I'll see you then. Bye.